Hey, greetings to the body of the people. This man called Chris Dorsey. And uh, we're going to do a very brief um, video. We might even be done before anybody realizes we're broadcasting. But we do this, we do this uh, every week uh, at about this time. Um, and so, uh, yep, we are going to... Let everyone know that uh, we are still working on on getting the uh, membership due paywall up, which has become a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, I must say, I'm not going to turn this into a, uh, a complaint section, but uh, you know, it's it's hard enough to keep uh, the brain power going to aggregate all this information for everyone and then uh do different steps in order to have um uh i don't know some sort of compensation uh for the information what happens with the information now is i put it out first uh there's a group of individuals that then pilfer the information and then turn it into misdirect and mislead lead out leave out the most important essential elements keep the rest and then pocket the money and act as if they came up with these ideas or thoughts themselves it's really disgusting but again in this society the most dishonorable individuals are going to be the ones that have the most money and uh the most honorable individuals are the ones that are going to have the least money and um, <clears throat> that goes for everyone I know in my life. Um, so, yep, uh, we are uh, going to get behind a paywall. Um, and if folks wish to donate for all the free information that they've gotten over the years, if folks feel feel a little bit bad, which which they definitely should for taking all this information, um. And uh, having me make about uh, two thousand dollars or less a year for all the work that I do, uh, hey, donate money at uh, RVA the number four piece at Gmail. That's RVA four piece at Gmail dot com. That's my PayPal account. Nobody uses that. Uh, everybody knows it. I've been I've been saying it for years and years and years, and and nobody pays much attention to it. So. I mean, I really have utter disdain for almost all persons, individuals in this country and around the world because you don't deserve, you deserve exactly what you're getting. You deserve exactly what you're getting. And as I stated earlier in this week, uh, I, I mean, this government shutdown, it, it didn't change my life one bit, not one bit. I know who has standing. I know what standing is. I know that people ordain the government and that government is a creation of man. So therefore, there's some government gives out some non-legally binding issue with nothing backing it up. Uh, I know that it absolutely has no standing. So I shall not change my life in any way. And I, I can also and will say with with utter, utter contempt for everyone out there that does all sorts of different little tricks um, through use of this broadcast and my intellectual property, etc., is, hey, you guys don't even click like and share most of the time. So, I mean, there you go. I, 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 I wish to get, I wish that, that, that there's proper compensation for the information the information's going to get out we 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 told you that they were they weren't they were going to that they were going to do by phone and by mail elections this year how many how many months ago did we tell you that how many months before the coronavirus did we tell you that that was going to happen how many years before this coronavirus did we tell you that voting is going to be done through phones like everything else how many years ago did we tell you that hey this this uh, uh th this this system by which 
you know, money is, is exchange, it's going to change very soon. And it's going to change in a way that it hides behind algorithms and it hides behind blockchain and that blockchain and, and, uh, um, <laughs> funny, very funny. I, I see all this stuff. Uh, even if you don't at home, uh, and that blockchain is going to be the new money. It's, it's not, it's not opposed to the federal reserve bank. It is a part of the Federal Reserve Bank. It's not opposed to the Bank for International Settlements. It is a part of the Bank for International Settlements. So we told you about all this stuff. We did it for free. We did it. We did it for absolute free. You guys all failed the test. You failed the test. You just want this stuff for free and you don't do anything with it. It's, it's like, uh, um, uh, Pearls before swine. No, no offense to to um, to pigs. No no offense uh, to barnyard animals in any sort of way. I'm just saying, like, hey, pigs pig, pigs don't know what to do with with pearls. It's wasted on them. So this information, if you think that you're impressing people on the internet by repeating my intellectual property and thoughts. Um, think again. I mean, again, folks are not really on the right track. So if we're going to give out this information, it's going to be behind a paywall anymore. No more free information, uh, other than what we have to do. And again, donate money, donate money to the, the best money you've ever spent. The most, the, the most deserving uh, place for your mono eye ever in your history or fail or fail as a human being you donated RVA the number four piece at gmail.com um, Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, the, the, um, the digital economy is coming there. The life as we know it has stopped. They're discussing whether sporting events will take place or whether they won't, whether they will play this baseball season or the upcomer, upcoming, uh, football games or soccer matches, or NBA with nobody in the crowd, or not. So, I mean, they practiced for this in many ways for many years. We told you it was coming. We told you everything about this. We told you, here's what to pay attention to. Continuity of government. I wrote a book about it. Here's what to pay attention to. The reset of the economy led by the Bank for International Settlements. Underneath that, it's International Monetary Fund, and underneath that, it's World Bank. And when I say it's, I mean the Bank for International Settlements owns all of those things and every central bank in the world. So wherever you're watching me from right now, you are a slave to the Bank for International Settlements. On January 20th of this year, the Bank for International Settlements wrote a book called the green swan so the word swan black swan white swan gray swan and especially green swan which is the book that is what is that is what to tell was what is telling you everything that is going on in the financial world right now this is a gigantic global reset we were the first to tell you about that and then every low level slug leech etc stole our information and pretended as if it was their own and pretended as if they were the first ones to say it when i said it weeks months and years before they even the thought even crossed their mind unless of course they're in on it in which case they knew the plan all along david ike in on it all 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 the usual suspects in on it and i will tell you 
everyone on YouTube is a government agent, and I'll explain why again for the last freaking time. Even if somebody's not getting paid by the government and they're repeating government talking points, they're a government agent. I'm saying that most of these guys are paid and are getting scripts, but even if they're not, even if they're repeating those who are paid and getting scripts, they are government agents. I mean, it's all of them, every single one of them. And I will tell you another thing for nothing. I'll tell you another thing for nothing. This thing that's going on across the states, begging, begging to get, to, to get back to, uh, um, to the, uh, 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 being a slave for the synagogue of Satan. I can tell you another thing. The government's abolished. These idiots, if they really want to reopen their business, just reopen the business. Why are you asking permission from the government? Do you ask permission uh, to your servant to, to, take a, to take a dump? Do you ask permission of your servant to do anything? Reopen your business. Why you got to petition a government that's, that's no longer in existence anymore? The, the United States government's been abolished. We're operating under continuity of government. Is everyone that daft that they're impressed by a bunch of jokers? By Blackwater and XE, Betsy DeVos and Eric Prince causing a traffic jam for no purpose in front of the state capitol at Michigan? And then idiots waving around a Trump flag you know, and, and a Confederate flag right next to each other? Forward in this partisan psyop? Is anyone impressed by this? It's it's the worst thing to do. You guys want to open your businesses up in Michigan or Virginia or North Carolina or New York? Do it. Do it. Oh, you can't. Because you're not business owners. Nobody owns a business. They're tax ID numbers. Uh, do you own your own tax ID number? Uh, I have a tax ID number. Okay, don't pretend you're a business owner then. Open your business up and don't pay taxes. Tear up your tax ID number. Otherwise, you're just you're just a revenue source for the government operating under continuity of operations. That's what you are. Nothing more, nothing less. So, I'm not impressed. I mean, I, I see all these jokers that act like they're so smart. I go on the air with them. They're so smart. They're so in tune with everything. Nine times out of ten, they're ethnically Jewish. Ten times out of ten, they are verifiable government agents. Verified treasonous chumps. Voting is treason. If you're an active registered voter, you're guilty of treason. And you're stupid on top of that. Because they're telling you the Congress isn't in charge anymore. The president isn't in charge anymore. Not that they have been. Not, not, in, not in most of my lifetime. Not at least in, in, in the past uh, uh, 19 years. Since 9-11, because continuity of operations and continuity of government has been in charge. Who's in charge of that? The Congress? No. The executive branch? No. The judicial branch? No. Who's in charge then? The military and FEMA and the Department of Homeland Security above both of those things. Who's the executive right now? This guy... Uh, called Shaughnessy is is in charge now. And we told you all that too. So while well, they're talking to you about, oh, watch out for this, watch out for that. I say, hey, these guys are already in their underground bases. We told you about that as soon as they started scrambling into their underground bases. And they're tra- they've closed the colleges down. And what are they using the colleges now for? Besides as a front for extorting money 
Oh, they're using the colleges now to train for underground warfare. Okay, so when we figure out, hey, we got to get to these underground tunnels. We got to get to these underground bases and cities and and uh, um, transportation systems. Guess what? They're above ground too. Rods from God. Uh, weaponized drones. Robotics. Killbots. Etc. We told you all about that too. So if you guys think you're going to get through it, that's fine. Again, donate to RVA, the number four piece at Gmail, because otherwise I'm just going to see who you are and, and have utter content for you for continually taking this information for free and wasting it. That's the main problem with all of this stuff. That's the main problem with all this stuff. It's not that the information is given away for free. Not that I have contempt for you for just taking this information and using it for every other purpose, but its proper purpose. And that is, we've told you what action to take. We've told you what to do, and you refuse to do it. But what do you still do? Take the information for free. Take this free entertainment. Expand your mind and do nothing with it. So keep it up. I see who you are, and most of the re- most of it, I- I've already figured it out. I've already figured out your angle. I know who you are. I know why you're doing it. And in a lot of cases, I know who's paying you to do these things. So, there you go. That's that's the broadcast for for tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, you you've ne- you just. Taking all this stuff for free. Hey, and thanks, thanks, David Dotrieve. Much, much appreciated. Yeah, that's it. You know, and we are going to start charging as soon as I'm able to f- figure this stuff out. Every time I, I, I have to figure out something else to make to make it easier for me to broadcast this information to lead all the horses to all the water. As soon as that happens, I gotta figure out a new thing. And this new thing is get behind a paywall. That's 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 my goal. Get behind a paywall. Um But yeah, we've just recapped all this stuff for you. All the stuff you really need to know. We we tell you in detail why you need to know it, where I got the information from, how I know the information why it's relevant to all living beings on planet earth, et cetera, et cetera. That's cool. That's fine. And then what happens? You get, you know, two thirds of, you know, actually I should say 95 out of a hundred, 9.5% out of 10 who watch this show won't even click like, and won't even take the time to share it. And I know why I know why I get it. It's not, it's not just one reason why. It's lots of reasons why. Um, yeah, absolutely, David. Great information costs the rest of you. You spend money on Netflix and Prime, and I, I see I see everything. Like, hey, I I, I find stuff on on uh, um on Amazon TV sometimes, and I'm like, yeah, I want to check that out, and I click on it, and it's like. Oh, no wonder I want to check it out because like it's good. So therefore they know they want to hide this information behind a paywall because folks will pay it. You guys are paying for all this other stuff. I'm not going to give it to you for free anymore. And the problem is I feel compelled to get this information out. And the the next problem is, hey, um, this takes time and effort and work. Every day, no days off. And so what? I'm supposed to work for free while all the rest of you sit back. And many, many of you, or at least some of you, I should say, to be more exact, some of you take this information that I'm giving you and you turn it into money for yourself in in infinite different ways. In infinite different ways. So, 
Uh, yeah, to recap, read the Green Swan. You'll know everything about the financial reset. Read the Militia Handbook, and you'll find out everything you need to know about the Bank for International Settlements and continuity of government and continuity of operations, which is, um, which is, uh, uh which is, uh, um, the, the blueprint for what is happening right now with the government shutdown. And again, why are people begging the government to let them get back to work? You, you are always working. You're begging to get back to your employment. So what? So who does that serve? It does not serve you. It does not serve you. If everybody didn't go back to work, what are they going to do? Kick everybody out of their houses? We've already established that 30% of individuals did not pay their April rent. Are they going to get kicked out? If not, why does anybody pay rent any month of any year at any time? It's not like 2% didn't pay. Do you think the courts would be able to process uh, evictions for 30% of renters across the country? No, they would not be able to do that. That's all they would do. And that would cause such a stir. Because if 5% of those 30% of renters did something to oppose themselves getting kicked out of their own houses, the cops, the court system, the jails would be overloaded to a point where they would not be able to function. You guys look at everything all wrong. It's really infuriating. So, all I can say is, the government's abolished. All government and corporate officials are guilty of treason. They are fugitives from justice. The Constitution has been officially suspended. And what has replaced the Constitution for the United States is something called continuity of government and continuity of operations Brought to you by FEMA and the Department of Homeland Security, which, like all other fictitious corporations, has a lower standing than man. I breathe. I am moving my hand. If I stick a pin in my, in my finger, it will bleed. My arms and legs work. Therefore, I am a living, breathing human being who has a higher standing than any corporate fiction, period. In addition to that, I have a unique DNA, a unique bloodline that places me above all other human beings, not just through my blood, but through my claim and my standing and my deeds. So, in any event, any government that any human being creates has lesser standing than any human being, really, than any living thing, because it is artificial. Why? Because God, the creator of all things, the architect of the universe, has a higher standing than man. And man has a higher standing than anything else on planet Earth. So God has a higher standing than man. Man has a higher standing than anything else on, on God's Earth. And that any fictional creation of man has less of a standing than any other living thing. So when the government says, hey, we're going to have to cut down these trees because we got to put in this 5G apparatus or we got to cut down these trees so we can put in a training camp for an NFL football team, they 
they don't have any standing. The tree literally and in jurisprudence has standing over any artificial creation of man. So my dog Max has more standing because he's a natural born creation of God than any corporate fiction. And the same goes with any other living thing. Yeah, thanks, Joe. I'm I'm angry. I'm 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 pissed. And I and 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 I believe that'll be about it. I don't want to give out any more free information. Um, but again, donate. RVA the number four piece at Gmail. And and anyone who bitches or complains about that, I'll let them know. From my book and from my donations, which is how I get paid, I made twelve hundred dollars last year. The year before maybe about 2500 the year before that probably about the same so if you really think that it's not worth it i mean i really think that everyone who watches regularly should should donate a hundred dollars each right now and then pay for the for the paywall behind that but hey obviously i don't control you or i don't have access to your bank accounts or else i take it out myself and if I could see you in person, I'd like to do it right in front of you because I'm tired of wasting my time and not just wasting my time just because I'm not getting paid for it, but other people stealing my information and making money off of my property, which is my work, my information, me aggregating facts, etc. I've told you everything important. You don't even need to know anything else because money doesn't matter once you have your real mono eye back. So I, I'll be happy the rest of the night. I'll be ecstatic because I don't need a simulation of the mono eye, aka money, because my mono eye is still working. So, hey, uh, thanks to everybody watching. RVA, the number four, peace at Gmail. RVA for peace at gmail.com, PayPal. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens because I'm not, I'm not going to say anything more. I've already told you everything over and over and over and over again. And it's been wasted. What I get back in return, again, is b a bunch of jokes. And I can see who's getting paid by who. Because all I get in my messenger is garbage links to garbage human beings spreading garbage information on YouTube and BitChute and whatever other places that they can do that. So, yep. I know you guys got money. All right. Yeah. So, uh, and it's appreciated. But I can tell you, no matter what, within several months, I shall still be, my income shall still be well under the poverty level. So I have no qualms about, uh, uh, about this uh, um, uh, session that, that we've had. So that's, uh, that's it for tonight. Um, I'll be broadcasting... Oh, oh let, let's get into this. Here's my plan for the broadcast. My plan for the broadcast is $5 a month for uh, weekly three-hour shows. So we'll add an extra hour to the show. And oh, it, it, will, be, it, it will be money back guarantee information. So... If you don't think the information is worth $5 a month for, um, what would that be? 20 hour or uh, four times three for 12 hours of broadcast, then I will give you your money back and also state who thinks that this is not worth the money. But hey, I'll give you your money back. And daily content including the weekly broadcast the meeting of the people of god church and these will not be subscription fees 
These will be membership fees in the people of God church. So you will be members. They're membership dues. It is it is uh, uh, like um, when they uh, pass, pass around uh, the collection plate at a church. This is a membership organization. So for $5, you get the 12 hours of monthly broadcast, the weekly broadcast, three-hour broadcast. And for $10, you get that. And additionally, an hour's worth of broadcasting every single day. Every day. So that's that's the way the form is going to go. And uh, um, so, yeah, I, I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work for well below minimum wage. I presume that this will, you know, still make it eight eight hours a day, seven days a week. So what is that? Um, 56, 50 to 60 hours a week for below minimum wage. Well below minimum wage. Happy to do it. I'm not willing to have folks steal my information spy on me and here's another thing all these government agents that are spying on me for free you guys are gonna have to get behind a paywall and if you want all the information you're gonna have to pay at least ten dollars a month for the daily content and if you want some of it you're gonna if you if you want uh, uh you know the uh weekly broadcast you're gonna have to pay five dollars a month if you're a, a, a government snitch a fed an FBI agent, an NSA agent. You're not going to be able to get this for free anymore. I am sure your employers will pay for it. I'm certain of it. I'm certain of it. And you know what? Hey, if you guys want to make some, you know, major donations, I'll take your money too. I'm not, I'm not going to change what I say. I'm not going to change the fact, and I can't change the fact that all you FBI snitches, and all you NSA agents and all you corporate and government officials are fugitives from justice, guilty of treason, and therefore subject to capital punishment. I didn't write the laws on treason. I didn't make you commit treason, but that's what you're doing. So uh, we're going to end it here. Uh, I got to uh, walk Max. And so, again, I won't be wearing a, max, uh, a mask. I shall do as I always do. And go out lawfully in public, walking my dog with my sidearm by my side and my camera in my pocket. So, everyone, have a great day. Peace and God bless.